<laughs> let's do let's, let's do there's only one doctor shout out to mark zumoff that was his favorite uh for, for 100 for there's julius. only one doctor in philadelphia julius irving entered professional basketball with this defunct aba team who is the nets incorrect oh who are the squires squires virginia can squires. you be more specific who are the virginia squires Sorry. that's correct yes all right devon's hard-earned points off the board the good, virginia good squires so this is not part of the rest of the julius irving trivia do you know which former nba star he played with during his first season with the virginia squires 101 i still can't another great score best known as a scorer. george gervin that's correct yeah. george gervin and dr j were on the same aba team yeah and they lost to the nets i believe in the conference finals yeah. in the aba that year so <laughs> they're a doctor in philadelphia for 200 all right irving's nba playoff career high came in a losing effort when he scored 40 in a series ending loss to this western conference team it should narrow it down a lot. Yeah. Who is the Portland Trailblazers? That is correct. He scored 40 points in their Game 6 NBA game. Finals loss mm -hmm. in the series that famously they were up 2 nothing in yeah. and ended up getting swept the rest of the way, 4-0, by Bill Walton's Trailblazers. Their, that Blazers team is a great NBA what-if where they won that title, and then I think the next year they were like 50-10 and 10 yeah. before Walton went down with a – that was team. the first of his bad foot injuries, I think. Yeah. And then the rest of his career was kind of never the same. They had a nice team. The Sixers had a great team. I mean, they had a lot of talent. I think the problem that a lot of people cite who were there for it was they had too many guys that were needed the ball in their hands and were score first type of players between mm -hmm. Doc, McGinnis. Um, That's when McGinnis like really won it out after that. Yes. And McGinnis was a big time player, right? But it was hard for him to. He's one of those guys that struggled to coexist with yeah. everybody else. Yeah. Like when he's the guy, it's great. When he has to be one of the guys, maybe less so. All right, let's go uh, Dr. J500. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're saving this Wilt one for last. Despite being a one-team man in the NBA, Irving nearly jumped to the NBA for two other teams, one that drafted him and another that he appeared in three exhibition games for. Jeez. And you have to get both? Yes. I Then I won't get both. I would think one. Let's say, to, I'll, I'll be charitable. Are I'll give it Eastern to you if you Conference? get one of them. Are they, is, are, is there, oh, you gave a hint already. Uh, damn. Who the fuck originally drafted him? Might have to time you out on this one. Uh, I'm out on this one because we're running out of time anyway, so I'm out on this so. particular one. The answer is the Milwaukee Bucks and the Atlanta Hawks. Okay. He was actually was drafted thinking. by the Bucks and would have potentially played with Kareem and Oscar Robertson, which yep. is an insane thing to think about. James has it in his He chat. played three exhibition games for the Hawks with Pistol Pete, and the Hawks were fined for each individual game that he played. He <laughs> negotiated, <worth> he negotiated <laughs> some done. kind of deal with Atlanta because he found out that his agent in some way conspired with the Squires to – depress his yeah. his earnings on his deal wow okay so, fun fact for you dr j history right there <laughs>